Hello, I just wanted to go over the Nest project, the idea behind it, and the lesson introduction. It's about illustration. Illustration basically is a drawing or a painting or some kind of work of art which explains or visually represents a written text. So, for example, on the left here, there's a couple of different quotes that are being visually represented by the drawing. So in a, your project, you will have words as well as images. So we're combining a couple of things that we worked on previously. There's a couple of different types of illustrations. And so there's a little bit of information here about that. Why do artists make illustrations? Uh, well, there's a couple of those different examples that I have posted here. One is Mr. Williams, Marcus Williams, who is an illustrator in George, Atlanta, Georgia. He creates, created his own series of comic books as well as a couple of different products. So I give you a video that kind of explains one of his most recent um, projects. And then uh, also a web, website to, to that link to help explain that one. So he's showing his ideas through um, through his illustrations. And the illustrations in a comic book will show what's happening in the words. Another example that I have here to help answer this question is uh, Mrs. Harrison, who is an artist, an author, and filmmaker who has a passion for storytelling. And she loves to illustrate um, what the story is about, and she uses those in terms of a book. So she creates books. She's actually the author as well as the illustrator for many books. So she's creating these pictures related to the words in the books. That's very much what this project is all about. The next question would be, well, how can I come up with my own illustration? Because that's going to be what you're expected to do. One way is on the left here about quotes. Just find a quote that you like and you can illustrate it and there's some examples of that on the left here there's also a video here to help you get inspired by different types of quotes uh, there's also an example on the right here uh, an 18 year old artist from prague czech republic uh, his artistic style is found on incorporating simple and everyday objects into his illustrations and he, these objects are given a totally new and unexpected meaning that way he believes inspiration is all around us, wherever we go and whatever we do. This is part of our theme for this class, showing uh, the process of um, exploring ideas and putting them into our work. So here's a picture of him in his studio, and then some different examples of his works. He does drawings as well as photography and he combines them together. So that could be another example idea. In, in this case, he doesn't have words on here, so you would have to add some words to yours if you were to do something like that. Some more examples of that are in this video here. Just as a quick review of what to do this week, we are, again, having a total of two different assignments. First one's a practice, where you come up with some ideas and practice drawing what images you could use for your own illustration. And then you'll take a picture of that and put that into the practice plan assignment page. And then the homework for this week's project is to create your own art that illustrates a text. It can be a quote, a lyric, a story, a character, or anything related to that. It could be a manga or it could be um, several different things. And we'll explore those things when I show you um, the practice assignment page. Uh, there's going to be required to have at least two photos for that assignment. Or, talking about illustrations this week. So always email me if you have any questions and just look over this information for lots of different examples as well as definition of what we're doing this week. Enjoy.